How's it going everyone? Mono here and today is another video of the Team of the Week Squad Builders. This week is Team of the Week 45 and uh, these are the players in Team of the Week. There's Magidi, Janino, Pereira. Those look very, very tempting to use. Gonther, the center back with 75 pace, looks very good. And But also, as you'll see on the screen right now, the, these three men of the matches are in packs during this current team of the week. I asked on Twitter if people would like to see man of the matches as well as it count as an inform. A couple people said yes, so I decided to throw in man of the matches, if there are any, into team of the week squad builders. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe. Peace. Alright, kicking off into the players, we have Magidi, Pereira, and Leonardo Silva. I was actually lucky enough to get this guy in a pack, but we are going to move straight to the keeper in a 5-2-2-1. I know it's a of pretty sweaty formation but we have man of the match Victor he's very good he is 6'4 so he's very tall and look at those stats 87 diving 89 reflexes are very good for a keeper his kicking is a lot better than it actually says but I'm gonna actually move on to the left center back right now and it is Lucio he's got 66 pace 83 in defending and 84 heading he's actually very good very underrated on this game mainly because he doesn't have pace but he is so, so good. Moving on to the middle center back with the blistering 49 pace. We got Leonardo Silva. He's actually really good. It's just his pace can be let down. He's actually not that much slower than Lucio because his sprint speed is actually 63, which isn't bad. But he's got 82 strength. So if you can get your hand on him, or 92 strength, sorry. If you can get your hand on him, you can pull that def uh, attacker back. And he's also 6'4", so he wins a lot of headers in the defense. And then we move on to the other center back, which is Pereira. And he is opposite from these two because he is very fast, but he is pretty small. He's only 5'11", but he is also very strong. And he's just an all-around good center back, in my opinion. At right wing back, who's actually a right back, we have Chavez. Chavez is a great player, 80 pace. He's actually got a 5-star weak foot, as you can see. And he's a very good attacking right back. I'm pretty sure he has a high work rate. He's so good, in my opinion. Uh, very underrated. If you have a Mexican League team or something like that, I highly suggest getting him. Even though he doesn't have the most pace for as a right back, he's still very good. And moving on to left wing back, who is actually a left back, we have Dick Kegley with 82 pace, 75 defending, and 74 heading. Uh, he is also a very good attacking left back, I should say. He almost scored a really nice bicycle kick from outside the box, but it was just barely pushed away by the keeper. Um, he's so good. I wouldn't say he's the best left back in Serie A, but he's up there. And moving on to the middle center back, I decided, or center mid, I decided to splash the cash and get team of the season Vidal. He's he would have been the first player to have 80 in every category, or 80 or more in every category if he had one more heading. He's so good though. He's 5'11. He's got high high work rates. He's a great box to box player. If you go and look on his in game stats, they're all green. I'm pretty sure he's just so good. He's got an amazing shot. His free kicks are insane. Um, I've almost, I almost scored one from like 40 yards out, but the keeper just got his hand to it and pushed it out. I would have freaked out if I hit that. But at le our right center mid, sorry, I can't get my <laughs> direction straight. I don't know what I'm talking about. We, we have Castro. There's nothing too special about him. I'm pretty sure he's got a high work rate, but he's really just there to help the defenders out because some of them are pretty slow. But then moving on to the left forward, we have... Yakovlev, Yakovlev, I think that's how it's pronounced. He's actually very underrated. He has the finesse shot trait and the long shot taker trait. He's so good. He's always in the right position. I'm not sure what his attacking positioning is, but he's always there to make the correct passes or get a shot on target. Moving on to the striker, we have Sedu Dumbia. I could have gone with any Russian League striker I wanted to. I was about to go for Wellington, but since I used him in a team recently, I decided not to. But Dumbia is just as good with the 91 pace, 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot. He's very, very good, very underrated on this game. And then we have the main man, Aiden Magidi, with 91 pace, 75 shooting, and 87 dribbling. He has a 5 he has five star weak foot, or yeah, sorry, 5-star skills and a 4-star weak foot. There we go. Three goals in three games for me. He's pretty good. He can kind of be inconsistent with the shot. Sometimes it's very strong and on point. Sometimes it's very soft and just goes out <laughs> for uh, a throw in sometimes maybe. I don't know. But this team is very good in my opinion. I'm not the biggest fan of playing 5-2-2-1, but this team actually worked pretty well in it. Probably my, uh, definitely my favorite 
player from this week's team of the week in this squad is McGeady just because he's got that five star skills. But the other two are very good as well. Uh, team of the season Vidal Vidal is amazing and Victor is pretty good on his own. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Peace. Uh, everybody got their own opinion. Everyone got something to say. When will we pay attention? Hmm, probably not today. Like what's he doing now? And he's making money how? He just did what? Someone told me he's dropping now. Or he's dating so and so. And everyone knows how that'll go. She said this, he said that. Feeling like the whole world's about to blow. It's everybody's business. Gotta rub their whole nose in it. Got love for all my fans. Don't give a fuck who isn't. Who cares?